All right, let me show you. I'm going to jump into a session here. All right, you basically go down to this studio button here, and everyone will need to make a, a Bluebeam account. So <clears throat> once I log in, I can now see three different sessions that I have available. Um, a session is going to have uh, multiple documents within it. This is sort, sort of like a project, if you will. And you want to go to this little TV icon at the top. And I am going to just double click on this session that I've already created. There's currently three other people in the session and they're all online. My status is set to reviewing. Maybe I'll set it, set it to presenting. You can make a custom status. But um, within the session, here are all the people, all the attendees. Here are the documents in the session. I have two documents within here. I have an estimate and a plan sheet. If I double click on this, it will open it up sort of like it did with those other plans. And you can see that little TV, same TV icon that tells me that I am in a session. See this one here does not have a little TV icon. I could open up multiple documents within that session, as you can see. And let's see if anyone in this session has been making any comments. It looks like just me. Oh, Tim Knighton made a comment. He, he added this little remove icon in here. I don't know if any of these other people want to add some comments in while we're while we're working up. Oh, Tim, Tim's adding some stuff. You can see where I would say this is semi collaboration. You can see what people are are working on and you can see here that Tim Doherty made this comment. I can't delete this. So, you know, annoying. However, all my old tools are still available. Go to my toolbox and I want to use number three. By the way, you don't have to be on the toolbox setting to click these numbers. I can I can be anywhere and I hit number three and I can oh, someone else deleted that comment. You can tell someone to delete that. But I can't actually physically delete it myself, but I can come in here mark this up however I want. I made these comments before. I can move them around and yeah, it's 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 pretty self-explanatory and pretty cool. I can still export out all of those comments if I wanted to. Remember I was telling you I couldn't do the page labels. I come in here, that thing is grayed out. Uh, a lot of these features grayed out. Not totally sure why that setting is. Someone added a giant box in here. Tim Knighton, look at this. This is hilarious. All right, anyways, you get the point. But let me show you a couple other things that you'd want to know about a session. So say I wanted to add in a, another document. I think you can just drag and drop. Let me try this in case you can't. If I come in here, I can add in another document. A lot of this stuff is going to be an e-builder. We're going to be adding documents, creating sessions in eBuilder, inviting people to sessions in eBuilder. But once you open it up, I think you'll still have the ability to add and, and delete documents. And so, and also we might not be using sessions exclusively in eBuilder. But this is an interesting thing. I added this document. I was actually the one who made the comment you can see, but because it was added with comments, I can't adjust them. It's almost like they're baked in now to the document. I would upload Bluebeam session files blank. Think of it as almost like a, a flattened PDF. All right, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to invite someone else to this session. So I can click over here and go to invite. A couple different ways to do this. I can literally just type in someone's email here and copy from Outlook or whatever. Or I can actually click on the address book and it links to your Outlook contact list. I'm going to go ahead and invite this guy and he will get an email and he will be able to enter into the session. See if he see if he pops up here. See I right here, not joined. And if someone hasn't joined in a while, I might click on him and send him a reminder you know, if he can't remember how to get into the session. Another couple ways you could get into a session. You see this number right here, 964-613-126. That is the Bluebeam session ID. And pretty much anyone can get into this session you know, if, I, if I approve you getting in by knowing this number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this session here real quick. And if I go back to this one, I can right click on, this is the one we were in, right click on it. I can copy session ID. I can copy session invitation if I wanted to. And I could, oops, I could paste this right here. And then they're going to be able to click on that link and jump in, which is another way to invite someone. Or if anyone in this group here, if you guys hit this little add button and go to join session, if you know that session ID, you could just type it in. And then, you know, when I get in the session, it'll say, oh, this person wants to hop in. Will you allow them to, or will you not? But you guys can try that. That's also the way to create a new session is, is by doing that. As you can notice, I only have three sessions here, but we may have many sessions going on. So how do you get to get clear your list? You can remove from the list 
and I could, if I just remember that ID, I can then add it back onto my list. This one is, I'm going to do a little screenshot here. I don't go too crazy, but for example, this is a training test one that I was doing, was messing around with. I am going to leave the session and then I am going to right click and I'll just remove from list. I don't really want to see this one anymore. Oh, I realized I do not want to see it now. I'll go to join. I'll type in that ID 435-728-74 and it just pops right back up on my list. And now it's, it's here again. So that's one thing just to note. Another thing uh, that you should note is there's, you can only be in one session at a time. I can't join those multiple sessions at the same time. So I'm in one session at a time. You're going to have to go in and leave the session to get into a different one, or you can do something called finish a session. This is something I would be a little bit careful with. I'm pretty sure the only person who can finish a session is the person who's made it. There are different settings uh, about who has what permissions for each session, and you can set them up when you originally make a session, or you can change them afterwards. Um, you can see there's a thing called full control here. If I do allow here, I think that would allow everyone to close the session, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this one and open a different one. But I don't close or finish that specific session. But if I come in here and I now go on my session, I go to finish session. Basically, this is where I'm sort of ending the session. Now, there are a couple cheating, tricky ways you can actually revitalize a session if it gets finished and you don't mean to, but Generally speaking, once you finish a session, you're done with it. You're not, you're done with the review. You're not going to use it anymore. And what, you, what it does is it basically allows you to generate a report, which I don't know why, what exactly you would need that for, but saves all of the um, information about that setting. It saves all the comments people made, like in a list here in case you wanted to save them. And then you can save the files, this file. And if I had other files in here, it would allow me to save those as well. I just click with OK. Session is being finalized. And now it, here is my, that drawing. So now I can go in and I can literally do everything like a normal PDF. It's not a session. It doesn't have that little uh, TV on it anymore. You know, I can come in, I can add the page labels. I can, I can mess around with the measurements thing that I, I wasn't able to do as well before. That's what we're going to do after we finish. Again, this will hopefully be all auto automated or set up in eBuilder that this file, once we finish the session, will then be moved into um, the correct project folder and everyone's basically going to be able to just use it as a normal PDF. That's, that's the plan that we're, th we're thinking, but if anyone has any problems, like good ideas or bad ideas related to sessions, just start thinking about it. Definitely feel free to play around with them and yeah, try to try to figure out everything you can, because I think they're going to be part of our future. Let me show you one more thing. I want to show you guys how to actually make a session. So if I go to here and just go to new session, let's call this test. Currently I don't have any open files to add in, but I could add in documents. I showed you before how I could add them in after it's already been set up. And this is where you set the permissions from the attendees. If I, I would recommend having this restrict attendees by email address. If you don't, anyone with the number can just jump right in. I think you can change this after the session's already been created. You don't, not necessarily locked into all these things, but once you hit this, it will actually create the session. That one document that I uploaded should take me into it. Here we go. Training test. So this is where it's asking me to add in emails. I could add them from the address book. I could copy the link like I showed you before and you could email them directly if you wanted to, but that's basically how it works. There's some more settings in here. Um, this is where you would create those groups. If you wanted to make a group, of people's emails, maybe for a specific project. And then, you know, maybe I have a 30% review, I have 60%, I have a 90%, I have other random sessions that I'm making one of people's feedback on. That's when I go in here and I could add emails from groups. Maybe something that will be helpful for you or, or not, depending on, on how your projects go. So this is a cool feature that I think is going to be really good for like a presentation. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to follow someone else, what they're doing. I don't know. I'm going to click Tim. I'm going to click Tim Knight in here. If I click on this little follow attendee, I can see wherever he is. I can see where his cursor is. And I don't know if Tim Knighton is paying attention or not. There he is. You can see his cursor moving. And say Tim Knighton is giving a presentation and we all want to jump into a session. We can follow along with him. We can even ask him, oh, Tim, like what's, what's this thing? You know, like we can, 
it, it just creates a really cool way to do like a design review or a walkthrough. It is they can follow you, you can follow them. I think that's going to be something that is helpful. When I was at Clark County, we used that quite a bit. We'd be going through a design review. People would jump into the session and someone would be leading, other people would be following along, or maybe they'd be jumping into their part of the project. And yeah, it's just, it's really helpful. Oftentimes someone will say, oh, come look at this. I'm on page three and they'll say, oh, I'll just follow you. And like, just makes it a little bit easier to, to collaborate. You can a little chat bar down here. I can just type in hi, hi Tim. I, I am not sure if people actually look in here, but you can chat in there if you want to. I can also set my status. I showed this before. This is going to be helpful. I think when we're reviewing a document before we're done, you can see if, if they, they haven't set their status yet, but if they do, it will show up here and you can see who's done with the document, who's not, you can bug them. If you want, you can email them. Uh, I could theoretically send, I could right click on this. I could alert attendee. I could tell Tim Doherty that this is a problem. I think it creates an email link to them. It creates a notification for them as well. There's all sorts of little stuff you can do. I don't know how much of this we're going to use. Hopefully that gives you a little intro to sessions. I think they're a part of our future.